Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna to be starting off my ranking series and we're gonna start it off by doing my blushes. So I have 16 different blushes today, a bunch of different formulas, brands. We have drugstore and high end. Also wanna point out that if you're wondering what I have on today, you can always check my description box. It is listed and linked down there. Also, I did film this look. It's probably already up on my channel right now, so I will link that down below as well. But I do want to point out that I am wearing different lashes in this video than I am in that video. They're still from Moxie Lash, but today for this video, I'm wearing the flashy lash instead of the baby lash. Um, also, I'm going to go ahead and point it out that you can use code Mary10 if you want to pick up anything from Moxie Lash. But yeah, let's go ahead and get into the ranking. I'm also going to swatch all of these for you. So let's jump into it. Okay, so I'm not going to lie, this was kind of hard for me because I absolutely love blush. Blush is probably one of my favorite makeup products nowadays. So even though like stuff is ranked lower, I still love all of this. So we're going to kick it off with number 16. In the 16th place, we have the e.l.f. Primer Infused Blush. This is in the shade Always Rosy. I'm going to swatch them like I said. I also will insert like a whole swatch of all of them together at the end. But here's that shade. It's really pretty. Nothing against these blushes. I do really love the e.l.f. blushes. Um, but it's just out of all the ones I have, probably not my favorite. Y'all are going to have to excuse me for the lighting it keeps being weird um, next we have number 15 and that is from Milani this is their luminoso blush blush this is like a staple product it does have a brush down here I don't know why I'm just realizing this I've had this forever but this is just a really pretty glowy kind of like corally peachy blush you can use this even as like a blush topper or I would use this in the summer, or not in the summer, in the winter or spring when I'm paler, but it doesn't really work the best for me during the summer months. So next for 14 and 13, it is from the same brand. It's from Essence. It's their, I guess it's called just the blush, but I have two different shades. So 14 is going to go to Beloved, which is this one right here. These are really nice and they're really soft and they're super cheap too so this is beloved right there and then number 13 is bespoke so let me get this one out I absolutely love this one it's kind of like more of a bronzier blush type of shade so that is what it looks like you could honestly use that as a bronzer too probably Okay, so now we're getting into number 12, and that is from Persona Cosmetics. And this is in the shade Georgia. I really like this. It's a really pretty peachy shade, and the formula is absolutely amazing. See how pretty that is? Oh, I feel like this should be higher up. I really like it. And then number 11 is a newer one in my collection. I haven't used it quite that much, but I do really love it. And it's from Alme. It's their Healthy Hue Blush, and this is in the shade Nearly Nude. It is just so pretty. This one is another kind of like bronzy color. So pretty, and the formula is really nice. I really like that kind of like shiny blush look right now. It's really, really pretty. And then number 10 and number nine are two stick blushes. So number 10 is from ColourPop, and this is a newer release um, from their like Limoncello collection. This is in the shade Cottage Life. This is really pretty. I've been loving cream blushes lately, but that is what it looks like, and it's really easy to build up too. Really pretty, I love this one. For cream blushes though, I tend to apply them onto my hand first and then get a sponge go and pick it up from my hand and then put it on because I feel like it takes off the foundation at least for me it does so the number nine one is from milk it is their lip and cheek a tint or whatever I'm not sure and this is in the shade work 
uh, so pretty. I use this one all the time and it smells so dang good too. I don't know what it smells like, but it smells really good. <laughs> okay, so for number eight and seven is Ofra. So I think something happened with them. I don't really know, but apparently like the president or the vice president of Ofra made a tweet or something back in 2016 and I guess a lot of influencers are just not finding about finding out about it and really upset so I don't really know what happened if you guys know leave a comment down below but I've seen Samantha March and Nikki tutorials both talk about it and it's not good whatever it is so I'm not really sure so like I said um, two from Ofra so the number the one in eighth place is in the shade blush bl or Bellini I guess just Bellini and it's this like another kind of peachy rosy color the formula on these is just really soft and then number seven is in rose this one is really pretty i love this i just got this in may for my ipsy oh my word look how pretty it looks a little different in the pan than it does like on the skin it's a little darker but it can be built up really easy which is really nice for number six and number four five are buxom blushes i absolutely love these blushes these are probably these are the elfer ones are the most expensive ones but i absolutely love these so i have two shades so number six i'm gonna put dolly if i can open it i like how little these pans are because these are really nice for traveling but look how pretty that shade is love it and then number five is Seychelles. This one is another one of those like kind of bronzy looking ones, but it's so pretty right there. All right, so the next four are all from ColourPop. It's their Super Shock Cheek. I don't really know what it was called. <laughs> so, and these are the last ones. So in fourth place, we have Cheerio. This is from their wine collection. I have all three of them. But this is the one that I don't use as often just because it's a little bit deeper but it can be sheared out but I just think it's so pretty like that's it and then I can blend it out some so it's not as pigmented but then I'll just show you again how it can be built up this formula is my favorite formula out of all the blushes I have absolutely love ColourPop blushes so again this one is Cheerio in number four and then for the third place, we have Birthday Suit. This is just one of their regular ones. It's not in any collection, but it's this really pretty pink shade. I think I actually have this on today, do I? I can't remember. But this is like a pale, a paler pink. Really pretty, really subtle. But again, these can be built up really nicely. That's why I like them so much. And then the top two, number two is Cruel Intentions. Again, from the wine collection from ColourPop. I absolutely love this one. It's so pretty. It's raining right now. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but yeah. There we go. So pretty. I'm just gonna swatch it again. But like, look at the, I don't know. It's just so creamy. If I could recommend any of these formulas to you guys, it would hands down be the ColourPop ones. They're just so incredibly creamy. And then my number one favorite is Brute Flute. You can obviously see how much I've been using this. There's a pretty big dent and there is pan in there as well. But this one is just stunning. So incredibly pretty. Hands down my absolute favorite blush. And I am going to go ahead and pop up on screen a picture of just all of the blushes all together just so you can see the variety of them and just see because it's different to see them all together so you kind of know what they all look like but yeah that is all i have for you guys for just ranking all of my blushes let me know what you want me to rank next i'm thinking bronzers or highlighters so let me know what you guys are in the mood for seeing but that is all i have for you guys for today's video thank you so much for watching and i will see you next time bye